All right, now that we got that boring stuff out of the way of calibration, we can get down to the fun stuff in life. Right now I have all these tracks selected and I have my IO settings available. And I can take any single one of these tracks and um, configure them all at once. All except for those two. Those two are MIDI tracks and so they don't have external inputs. And sure enough, you can see my voice coming in on channel one of these IO settings. The inputs and outputs, of course, are configured here in the preferences input, output. Okay. And this obviously corresponds to your interface and the audio interface that you're using and that little applet that you'll be using. And new users of Ableton uh, Live might think, oh, big deal. But take it from somebody who's been in this game for a while. The fact that you can wire anything to anything is, is amazing. It hasn't always been this way. Same goes for outputs. I can turn all of these just to sense. I can turn um, all of them to external outputs. What would that be for? This is if I wanted to walk into my friend's Neve console and I had all my uh, session clips and my, or my arrangement set, and I would just go out to his Neve console one by one, all the way out, and just hit play and play it right through a Neve console. All right, I'm going to stick them back to master. And grouping is a way of routing audio. So if I shift or command select these drums and command G them, they go into a group. What happens? The group is set to the master fader, but everything within the group is set to the group. So that when I play, then I just, just have drums. Okay, so that is audio routing at its most basic. Okay, and then I can just say, right click, ungroup tracks. All right, so that's just the tip of the iceberg. We are going to experiment with resampling. Resampling is available on every input, and it basically, whatever track that I grab it from, whatever track is that track is playing, it will no longer play that, and it will pick up the master fader. Okay, so resampling is just saying, track five, you got to get the master fader right now. Okay, and I arm my track, there it is. And it's kind of dumb proof because it, if normally you'd think you'd hit an audio feedback loop here, the master going out of the master going out of the master, but they have it, this resampling mode is just for this so you, you don't have that. Okay, so you notice by by instinct, I just turn it off because I'm always afraid I'll hit a feedback loop. So um, I was going to do it on this track so that it names my audio file. And now I'm circular here. So I'm just going to build a quick breakdown. And I will resample right there. So basically, if you had a resample track in your live set and you had it key commanded for the input, you could literally re record people and things on the fly. You know, re record the singer in the band, re record things, and loop it back into the mix using resampling. All right, let's get moving. 